All right, what's up everybody? Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be talking about why what you've been taught about e-com and how to succeed is wrong. So this is off the back of our success. Um, now created a 500k a month e-com brand over the last uh, 10 years in business. And also what we've seen uh, of those who come and go in e-com and the clients that we also help uh, by building the foundations and helping them um, scale their businesses. So this is what people get told and this is why it is completely wrong. So let's get into it. So the first thing is that e-com is not about getting rich quick, right? A lot of people think and see people online, see YouTubers flashing up their phones about how many sales they've been making, you know, in a day or, you know, passive income while they're sitting on the beach. That is not true, uh, at least not in the beginning. And so what we've found is that to really build uh, a business that's successful over the longer term, we're talking about building sustainable businesses, it's a long-term game. You have to think really, really long-term and have the foundations actually laid out to achieve that. And so with your brand, you need to actually start by building trust and credibility. You don't just start out by making a million sales, a million dollars and go and sit on the beach after three months in being in business. That's just not what happens, right? And so when people say they want to get in to, to e-com to, to get rich quick and live that passive income life that, as I say, is displayed and become like this picture of success, which not that many people are actually living in reality, is absolutely wrong. Um, and this adopts into the principles that I'll talk about uh, down the line as well. And so the second thing is not to be led by fads, right? Things that are just flash in the pan types of success. That isn't sustainable business either. You know, there might be um, certain trends, yes, sustainable trends, such as what we had got into in terms of cold press juicing and, and the cleansing market that was absolutely trending and is still continuing to sustain our business. But in terms of like fads, like as, you know, widget spinners or, or whatever like that, um, it needs to be led by a market need or a market demand. Okay. So if there's an opportunity, there's a difference between the fad and the actual opportunity or the trend, right? So not to jump on fads is another, you know, thing we've been told that is actually wrong. Like jump on something that's been popular. that's going to be, you know, good for the next six months, then jump onto something else. That's not how business should be operated or, or should be operated uh, in a sustainable long-term way that's going to sustain you and, and help you grow. The other thing, number three, it's not all pool parties and Ferraris. So with this, again, you see people on YouTube online flashing Rolexes, fl flashing their cars around. Um, even when we were making 100 grand a month, we were hardly paying ourselves. And this is when we were very, very profitable. But it was more to the point that uh, you have things that come first. When you've got a business that's making that much revenue, generating that many sales, you have responsibilities and you have to pay these responsibilities first before you actually go ahead and pay yourself. We actually had one client that came to us um, at the time and they were making 100K in revenue, but their profitability was like 10% of that. And so you think about taking out all those expenses, all those ongoing costs, and they were making 10 grand out of 100 like that's, that's the reality. So when people say that they're making 50K a month, 100K a month, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're actually profitable, right? And so for us at that point, as I say, we were making some decent profit margin within our business, but living very conservative lives. Um, now that we're making, you know, 500K a month, it's a little bit different, but we've earned our stripes in that sense. And so um, we still don't have our, you know, our pool parties and Ferraris, but the point being is that it's not, that's not the reality of, of an e-commerce business owner. If you talk to anybody who's been in the trenches and is either still there or has actually made their way out of it, that is not what they got into it uh, for or the actual reality of it. And the fourth thing really quickly is it's not for the faint hearted. So this is something that people don't talk to you about. And it's why it's wrong. They say it's going to be so easy. You just do this and make 500 bucks a day, a thousand bucks a day. And you know, you've got a million dollar business. Like they don't tell you what's behind the scenes in terms of the hustle and the hard work that goes into it. And from our experience, what we've found is that you have to outwork. You have to outsmart. You have to outplay your competition and basically outlast your competition. The amount of people and businesses that we've seen come and go in our sp specific market, our niche, 
over the 10 years in business has been phenomenal. We literally say that we've just persisted and outlasted and outworked everybody else. And looking back on our journey, that has not been for the faint-hearted. If we had have given up, which we could have very easily every single year of being in business because of something, then we wouldn't be where we're at today. And so that's something that's not really understood by people who are trying to teach and inform people about what it's actually like. You need to have a certain work ethic and attitude to get through to the successful point. Because what your success journey will look like is it'll be flat lines, slowly growing, slowly growing, slowly growing, and then it will hockey stick growth. If you look at you know Warren Buffett's um, wealth, for example, that's exactly what it looks like. It's very steady and then it, it spikes right up towards the end, like a hockey stick. That's what we call hockey stick growth. And so that's generally the way we see uh, businesses trending. We're the same, 16 mil in revenue, in sales over our journey. But our growth curve looks exactly like that. Um, And if we didn't have those first two, three, four, five, seven years of grinding and hustling and persisting out working our competition, we wouldn't have that tail end growth that we now have, you know, doing anywhere between 500 and 800K a month. And so I just really wanted to dispel any um, misconceptions about e-commerce brands uh, that anybody might be painting as a pretty picture for any of those aspiring entrepreneurs out there. So, you know, the, the lies that you're basically told, what, what you're being told is wrong, that they're not get rich quick. Don't lead with fads. It's not, not all pool parties and Ferraris. And it's, it's not for uh, the faint hearted. And so I really just hope that helps. That's a bit of, I guess, food for thought. If you've got any comments on that, please do let me know. But I just wanted to be completely honest with you. Our aim is to be as transparent and honest with business owners as possible. To, to tell them the hard truths and the realities because with that, that's the tools that you can actually use to succeed, not naivety and um, painting a picture of something that it's not because the ones that do persist are the ones that understand that and embrace it and motivates them to keep going day by day. So I hope that helps. Some Just a bit of food for thought, as I say. Any comments, let me know, but uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.